Whoever's watching which one, it's day 20 of the moots now. I didn't vlog yesterday, I just didn't feel like it. But I'm still wearing the same dress that I ended the last vlog in because me and my grand are going to go to another restaurant. It's further away than the usual one we go to on a Sunday. So we just decided to go because we haven't been in quite a while. And the dress is really comfortable so I'm just wearing it again. I'm just snacking on some gluten-free cookies just now. I'm now up to 61% of the bird box and it's still the same consensus. I'm still creeped out. I still don't really have one solid theory as to what's going on. I will be listening to it on the way to the restaurant and on the way back. I'm hoping to finish it today. I tried uploading a video yesterday but I can't lock my phone when I've tried to upload the video or it cancels. <laughs> so I switched on my audiobook and I instinctively locked my phone. So I was like by that time it was about 3 p.m. And if it didn't take over two hours to upload, I would have started again, but I just was not having it yesterday. I'll try it again. I don't know, either today or tomorrow. I also read another chapter last night of The Chop Man. Don't really have much to say about it yet because I'm only like a couple chapters in, but it's... I'm interested. I will say that. It's uh, definitely caught my attention straight away on the prologue, so I was like, oh. <laughs> But I'm going to go and I will talk to you probably when I get back. Hi guys, it's about 11pm-ish. I finished the bird box. Uh, it creeped me out right up until the end. I honestly don't have a clue as to what really are the things that they're hiding from still. It, a lot of people say that it's unsatisfying uh, at the end and it is because I still don't know what they are. I think I'm going to do a separate re review of this book because the thoughts that went through my head when I finished was just ridiculous and it, the book should have a warning plastered on it if you have an overactive brain and an overactive imagination don't read it it's not smart your brain just goes insane trying to figure out what the hell it is and what's going on I, I, even though it was unsatisfying at the end I still give it 5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> it just, my brain was so screwed over with this book. <laughs> I honestly don't know what else to say about it. That completed the Ancient Ruins Acceptable, finally. Um, and I did download the Exceeds Expectations for Ancient Ruins, which was the dinner. It was to read a book in past tense, so I made sure that it was and it is, so that's good. It's called The Dinner by Herman Koch. I think it's a movie now as well. I think it's a, a thriller. I'm not sure yet. It seems to be. I did read a little bit more of The Chalk Man. I think I'm around like 10-ish percent. I don't know, it's not far, but so far I'm liking it. I can see that Stephen King was an inspiration behind it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. See the name. Huh? I got it. Have you? Yeah, I managed to get it on video. <laughs> I got the name. It's grand and cozy. Hi guys, it's about 20 past 10 now. <laughs> Yeah, I I call the moon a noom because I don't know who started it, but I don't know if it was me or my sister or someone else who couldn't say moon when we were younger. 
So we just called it a noom. And that's what my granda calls it, so <laughs> that that's the explanation for that. <laughs> but yeah, it was like bright out, super sunny, barely any clouds, and the moon was still in the sky. It was weird. I got to 52% of the dinner by Herman Koch. I've heard someone else say it like Koch. I don't know if that's right. Got no clue. I'm over halfway. I hope to read the second half tomorrow. So far, honestly, I'm not enjoying it. But it's, I don't know, I'm just bored. It's basically about this family who's sitting around at a restaurant and their two sons have done something really horrific. And I did finally find out what they did. And I mean, probably as everyone kind of suspects, you know, what it was. I was like, well, that's kind of obvious. Uh, with it being like a thriller. I wouldn't say it's a thriller. I'm not really, I don't know. I'm more disturbed as to what the kids did than anything else. The tensions are getting more high as the book goes on. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm not interested. I think if it doesn't get more interesting, then I'm probably going to end up giving it a two stars, to be honest. Uh, it's pretty disappointing. I did watch the trailer for the movie, but I don't know if I would ever watch it, to be honest. I don't know. The movie looks more interesting than the book is right now. <laughs> Basically, put it that way. I'll try and, like, finish it tomorrow. I haven't read any more of The Chalk Man yet. I'm going to go and I will talk to you tomorrow. Good night. Oh. Hi guys, it's 10 to 11 now. I actually finished the dinner today by Herman Koch or Koch, I don't know. Gave it one star. At first I was just bored. But then as it got deeper into the story and I saw in a, that it was so morally wrong what was going on. I started to hate the characters and everything that was happening and in the end there was no resolution. I don't know, it just made it seem like if you just forget that you did something wrong and ignore it and don't turn yourself in to the police then it'll just blow over and go away, which I just think is wrong. If you did something as bad as what happened in the book, then you should definitely go to the police, whether it be you or your family. Uh, just someone has to tell the police what happened. And I don't know, I just, the book has just made me really angry. And I honestly, I would not recommend it. No, just don't. Mm -mm. I didn't like it at all. Nah, I hated the characters and everything. Nah. One star. <laughs> the worst book I've read this year so far. <laughs> but I'm going to end the vlog here. I think I completed two books. My Twitter, Instagram and Goodreads are in the description as always. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.